Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? Have you heard of the Schumann cavity? The Schumann cavity. Well, it's that ring, that outer ring that's around the Earth just outside of the ionosphere. And when Tesla built that tower, he tapped into this realm of energy. Is this the energy that Russia's President Vladimir Putin said that by the year 2025, he's going to have a one energy source that will captivate the world? Is he talking about the Tesla technology? Well, let me just read something. We're going to ask Mike from around the world about this. And he's ready. He said he's ready to explain. Now, simply defined as the Schumann cavity or the Schumann Renaissance, uh, it is... The, the, it, it's a relationship of electromagnetic radiation to the diameter and circumference of the Earth. Of, it frequently measures at 7.75 cycles per second based on the velocity of light. Every single stellar and planetary body has its own unique SR signature that can be used as a marker of identification. Each one can be directly related to the specific frequencies with which we are familiar with and how they act in a feedback loop with others to create a complex renaissance, uh, uh, harmonic um, characterizing the entire solar system. The SR frequencies measure from the megahertz that are those of the asteroids to the ultra low of the sun itself. Does the Schumann cavity actually exist? Or is it a figment of our overactive and fevered imagination? Well, the argument for its existence is the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with the magnetic fields and even the physical size of various bodies around the sun. You can see uh, high energy particles are interacting with the Earth and Jupiter and Saturn and Uranus and Neptune, and these create light. All right. Okay. Now, most of the particles get trapped in the magnetic fields and whiz around the planets at close to the velocity of light. Uh, it's trapped between the magnetic field lines, such as we see on the sun. Now, when these impact the atmosphere near the field poles, they glow in a visible part of the spectrum. Some of this filters into the atmosphere and manifests as lightning, which can be measured to specific frequencies. And thus, lightning is another way we can measure the SR effect. Now, this constitutes one, from one, one of the evidences. We know that the velocity of light and the size of the Earth so we can calculate the SR effect. Matter of fact, we can also do this with all the other planets, asteroids, and even for extra solar bodies, provided we have the basic information. Because lightning strikes at pulses, they contain many different frequencies, and because the Earth is a, is a resonator, it takes these harmonic containing spikes and filters them into multiples of the Earth's uh, frequencies. Therefore, the frequencies of 7.8 uh, hertz or 15.6, uh, also 23.4, etc., it goes in pulses, are all supported by the Earth's uh, uh, ability to resonate or to respond if you will. Uh, also, locally, the signals from lightning, the uh, lightning strikes that have yet to travel ample distance to allow for the filtering effect can be recorded with many different frequencies intact. Here's what they believe. Tesla may have tapped into this, sh uh, you know, Sherman, uh, Sherman cavity and brought down the energy that can be measured and maintained and what's unbelievable is that frequency is the same frequency that operates the body, which means, 
Again, you have 75% of the earth is water. Your body is 75% water. Every mineral on the earth is found in the human body. And if the megahertz of the Sherman, of the Schumann cavity is the same as the megahertz of the brain, this is why some people are very concerned about harp or the ability for uh, magnetic radio waves to manipulate your brain because they know what the megahertz is and they can then manipulate it and change the frequencies. I talked to a guy by the name of John Bro. I've had him on my show before. John used to was a nuclear engineer on submarines and he knows that they would take them submarines way down deep and change the frequency in which everybody's brain was operating in. They could lower or raise the frequencies. And once when they did this so far, they could start to manipulate what they put in. They could send messages into the brain and alter the brain. In other words, people would see hallucinations. People would think they were told things that they weren't. People were told they to believe things they had never believed. I mean, this can be manipulated. Is the beast, could the beast use this technology or could vladimir putin use this technology which which according to tesla would provide energy to operate everything every motor vehicle every appliance everything every light bulb everything can be could be sapped out of the uh schumann cavity and the whole world could operate off free energy instead of everything else that we're doing is that what putin is trying to do or is he trying to sell it? Tesla's dead. But his information is very much alive. And there's rumors the U.S. government has their hands on it. And there's rumors, rumors that the Russians do as well. Are you saved? Are you serious? Something's going to cause people to bow to the beast. Because it says that he has the ability to cause both small and great, rich and poor, make people bow to the image of this beast and take the number of his name. There's going to be some kind of manipulation. The only thing that's going to stop that, the only thing that's going to protect you from such manipulation is the blood of Jesus Christ. This is why your spiritual man needs to be manifested by the Holy Ghost to protect you from anything he tries to manipulate. Remember, Lucifer is the prince of the power of the air. Not the prince of the air, but the prince of the power of the air. Are you saved? We'll talk about this tonight. Don't miss tonight's broadcast, 7 p.m. Eastern, my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com.